Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on this Wednesday, hump day, 15th of May. Got some German preliminary GDP figures. We got French CPI, Eurozone GDP as an aggregate uh, all this morning. Hours time kicks off with the German numbers. They are expected to rebound slightly. Um, let's go to Euro right away. This is an important level now, 1, 112.64. It's a triple top up there. The market is long dollars. Um, this will be uh, a place where we can make some money, 112.64. You're going to need um, a real big beat for this to get moving obviously volatility as you can see with these bars is is crippled still uh, no one cares about FX but we got 112.64 and then we have this trend line up here 113.30 um, those are your top side levels if GDP gets smoked and if you look at boons which are trading at around minus 8 basis points I repeat 10 year boons around minus 8 basis points again um, I think euro yen is your dog uh, but you could probably sell through the figure I mean but this is just just in the middle of nowhere if you go to euro yen 112.50 is is incredibly important here's the dailies uh, lots of fresh air down there and that's kind of like the spooky um, you know, cliff edge, one twelve fifty. Quickly, I'll bore you with some dollar CAD. We got a busy day in CAD today. Um, we have uh, hold on CPI, I believe, which is going to make things very tricky. But after the huge, um, yeah, CPI today, after the huge beat in employment. Um, you got to wonder if CPI is going to beat here today. Anyway, we're short. Uh, this is our trade of the week. This looks like an interesting little pivot here, 56. Obviously, we want this down through 56 um, before CPI. And if we're up close to 90 at CPI, you can't go into CPI with a three-point stop or a five-point stop. You know, yesterday it danced around up there, 87 high, 85 high, 80 high. But you could manage that because there was no no gap risk. So we'll just have to see. Um, be disciplined about this. Below 56 should lead to some fun. We're closely watching Euro, right? Uh, less so crude. The crude CAD correlation broken recently it's more you know it's a very strong correlation with euro dollar so we're watching euro dollar in general and then we're watching the bars uh, and then we will watch the economic figures out at 230 today this will make or break um, our CAD position let's go to equities we're short selling high ones um, looks like it wants to go a bit higher today again so our sell area is between 50 and 60. Um, our viewpoint here is is we're broken now, so you know the the dam's been broken. The water's not rushing out yet. We probably need to get through this 200 day for for some more systematics to turn. But I don't think this trade deal. Uh, is going to get settled. A lot of people think it's going to get settled because Trump cares about S and P's. Um, I don't know. It just looks looks stubborn. Looks like two stubborn people. And now, even when it does get settled, people are now going to question whether it's enforceable and whether China is just going to welch on it. Uh, this is now on people's minds. People are thinking about this. The last minute um, sort of failure last week. It's not a good sign, right? 
It's not like a good sign going into good faith negotiations. You don't you wouldn't expect Berkshire Hathaway to pull something like that, right? They do just the opposite. They take a one page piece of paper and say, Here's the deal. Uh, this will be good for both of us. Let's now move on and get on with our business. We're dealing with basically the opposite of uh, Warren Buffett, both sides. So I'm not too optimistic. Anyway, we're selling high ones today. We're core short, uh, trading on the core short, looking for places to add. But you can't just add conviction on any, every given day. You need a technical setup. You need uh, perhaps a macro setup as well. So today we're just selling high ones between 50 and 60. We are, of course, short. I guess uh, we will add through 28 the figure um, on a tactical trade if we get down there. First time to 27.76 will be support. So let's not get too carried away with uh, where we're, what we're doing with S&Ps. Look around elsewhere. Cable, not doing too well. I read some Brexit news yesterday. I guess May is moving up some presentation to the House of Lords or House of Commons. Looks a mess. Um, we're basically just waiting till we get news for a second referendum. That'll create a big bounce in cable. Until then, um, this thing's just going to keep going down. The next big point is um, 128.65. We're not trading cable too much. Um, had that sterling yen on last week, but um, not trading cable too much. Aussie, I didn't catch the wage index numbers yet, but it looks like they were weak. We traded out of our Aussie. We had Aussie cat on. We traded out of it on Tuesday. We traded out of the Aussie side and and left the dollar CAD side. Regretting that now, this is really looking very, very offered. It just does not go up well at all. Um, Aussie looks set to go lower. China missed last night with industrial production. Um, I'll have to look what happened with the wage data, but it certainly wasn't massively bullish. We do have more employment numbers out, um, I guess tonight. Let's check the calendar real quick. Yeah, employment, uh, 3.30 a.m. Thursday morning. Not that great for the Swiss people here. Uh, I will not be up for that, but that is very, very important if you're running Aussie. And something to keep in mind about where you want your average to be and what you want your position to be. Uh, I, th I believe there's over a 60% chance now of a cut this fall uh, priced into the RBA. I read that this morning. EM, dollar max, kind of looking towards these highs. This is the 200 day at 1930. Uh, it's a percent away. Dollar turkey also um, still above six, bunch of good news there some risk on tweets from Trump and some helpful comments from Erdogan but 625 is a break trade we don't trade dollar turkey but I would not um, wouldn't touch Turkish lira with a barge pole frankly and finally BTPs We've been trying to be core short BTPs, uh, some success. We've kind of been lazy about it, um, but we still think selling high ones are good. And now just check this out on a, on a technical basis. Um, down through uh, 128.83, which is yesterday's low, there's going to be some risk. We have this either double top, uh, neckline, but just the the um, the macro story out of uh, Italy is troubling, uh, and this should um, this should create some pain for BTP longs. So selling selling BTPs we also like. 
All right, I've said enough for watching closely this uh, German data and the EU, EU GP, GDP data. We got our dollar CAD. Selling high ones in Aussie looks good. Selling high ones in BTPs look good. Trading S&Ps on the short side. Tactically trading S&Ps. Not conviction short, tactically short. It's still a comment driven market. Uh, tactically short S&Ps is the way. Good luck, people. I will talk to you tomorrow. Make, make some dough today. Why not? You deserve it. Ciao.